Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So we're going to talk about what is blocking your manifestation power. When I was shuffling off camera for you, what I was getting from you is that heart, callous heart, unforgiveness. That's blocking your manifestation power for some of you. It's not going to be for all of you. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. What is blocking the Aquarius manifestation coming to realization, coming into the 3D? What is blocking the Aquarius? All right. So the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and, and Capricorn. And then the answers you need are coming. Uh, full moon in Gemini. So we know in the full moon, it's about release, release, release. It's not um, necessarily about uh, bringing in like the new moon. Uh, Capricorn, the sign of serious business, um, maybe even your own business, or uh, maybe you, you need to forgive somebody for telling your business or uh, putting your business out there or um, being all up in your business or uh, I heard destroying or demolishing your business or um, it could be even the business of you, you know, this could even be reputation because Capricorn, the 10th house reputation, like maybe you need to forgive somebody for, um, maybe trying to tarnish your reputation, your, um, your professional reputation, then like your personal reputation, like they tr try to, uh, slander your name or there was, or there is slander on your name. Um, this could even be over the internet. This could even be them getting like a little bit of information about you. They're fabricating, lying about you, lying on you. Full moon in Gemini. Gemini is about communication. So definitely this could even be like a sibling or somebody close to you or in your environment, in your community. We get to choose the community that we want to be in, right? So it's somebody that you chose to be around. Um, you need to forgive them, you need to release, let go of, relinquish um, how you feel about this person, even though they hurt you, uh, they did something they weren't supposed to do. Um, they tried to tarnish you, they tried to destroy you. Um, yeah, definitely maybe even try to, the reason why your manifestation is not working is because you need to forgive. Your heart is still cold, callous for somebody who tried to destroy you professionally. This is somebody you were kind of like hard headed in regards to listening to spirit about letting them go, releasing them. Um, yeah, this person just, um, this is a person that maybe you were in a relationship with, but you decided to also go in business with. So they, when they were done, they decided to kind of destroy both your personal and your business life or take your business or something of that nature. It's like, you won't let this go. It's the first thing that comes out of your mouth. When you talk about the ex, when you talk about the person or this person is you talk about what they did, what was so bad. So it's still there. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody did something ruthless to you, like underhanded, cunning, sly, conniving, you know? So, uh, it's like, you have to really get to it, to the energy of, um, releasing that you haven't forgiven this person, maybe because they're still doing it too. Uh, they haven't learned lesson. They haven't let it go. They haven't let you go. Um, they're still, they may have even made you look bad with family, with friends. Um, again, professionally, this person was out for money, out for blood. Maybe you gave them a lot of money, you gave them a lot of opportunity. You had to let them go because, um, or you haven't really released them and, and forgiven. And, and the reason why your manifestation is not coming to life to realization is because, you know, um, this person was a big flirt. Um, they had other people, they were superficial. It's just about maybe you're just going to have to laugh this situation off and move on and really start to drill down on where you didn't take note of, you didn't see, or you overlooked, or you really have to accountability. Um, nothing is happening to you that you didn't allow. Signs are all over the place. You had conversation with this person and they would take what you were saying and they would go and spread it around or they would mince words or they would fabricate or they would exaggerate. Um, this person had no, or these people had no, um, like no boundary on how they would try to destroy you or slander you. You know, they just didn't care. 
and and because what they did to you is so ruthless this could even be like stealing inheritance large sum of money um this could even be somebody trying to take your place or your importance in in your business in the world or maybe in the family this was somebody really trying to cut you down cut you out shut you out shut you up they felt like if they spread enough rumors whether it be true um or, or just false a lot of falsehood coming out um then then you would just cower down you would go away you would just find the nearest rock and crawl under it never come back out um you've got some truth about this person or this group of people and it's very hard to forgive them because in the midst of them doing all this bad stuff to you you were very good to them you showed up nice for them you showed up giving the humanitarian for them you showed up as a diplomat you know for them you showed up as a the person willing to stand in the gap for them okay so it's a, it's a bit extremely hard to forgive them but it says it's holding up your manifestation what else can we tell Aquarius about this situation what's going on let's come to Aquarius self-employment yeah definitely somebody tried to ruin ruin you your self-employment um they didn't like what you were doing they tried to slander you lie on you tell people you were stealing or what you did was uh thievery or i don't know you know this is somebody here didn't like they don't like your independent streak also your independent nature where you can just do what you what you want to do and uh, have all that you need this is somebody here who wants to be like you they don't have self-identity this is someone here who slandered your name in terms of your self-employment maybe they, they told lies about how you started your business or um, they tried to insert themselves in your business or insert themselves in your personal business okay um i had to help aquarius aquarius was homeless and then i had to help aquarius i had to do this due to um dietary ch change coming out it's, it's going to be very hard for you to forgive them because what they were saying was downright false lies it'd be okay if it was the truth i know I always i have a saying and i'm pretty sure you've heard it before um man if i start telling the truth about all these people lying on me hmm you know and that's how you probably feel like if i started to tell the truth about all of these people who's lying on me um we see a lot of people running for the hills but Aquarius, for, for some of you, you decided to stay silent. You're like, I'm not even going to tell the truth about them. I don't even have to lie about them. You know, I could tell the truth about them and they have to make up lies about me. Um, dietary change. You might, yeah, okay, so something you're eating, something you're doing. Okay, so you may even be overeating or taking in something that you shouldn't be taking in because, again, back to escapism escaping the memories of the past, escaping the stuff that people did to you or are still doing to you. Um, you might need to let something go. Also, dietary change talks about maybe a change in uh, what you do habitually. Maybe going around these people, talking to these people, talking to people who still talk to them. Um, maybe this will help you with the releasing and the forgiveness so your manifestations can come into fruition. What's holding up your manifestation one of your manifestations could be self-employment is holding it up um, because you have an unforgiving heart you're having a hard time moving either per proverbially or physically moving on from these people um, you may still be around them yeah can't make it up you need to exercise something new in your life okay uh, you can't stay with the old you can't stick with that old energy again you might just need to think about it laugh it off and move on it happened you know, sometimes we have to say that to ourselves. It happened. It happened. You know, um, it's, you know, it, it's not to dismiss it or uh, don't go through the grieving process, blah, blah, blah. No, it's just about really getting real with yourself. It happened or it's happening. You need to exercise something new in your life. You need to even incorporate exercise. It's going to bring about new vitality, new idea. The blood in your feet, been in your feet for six months. You can circulate that blood. And um, again, new vitality, new energy. You know, um, it also promotes a better aging, gracefully aging. This also talks about wisdom. Learn from the mistake of trusting the wrong people, trusting the wrong people with uh, you with the essence of you that's all it was you trusted the wrong people and it is what it is it's about learning from it that's how you gain wisdom so that you never repeat that either with same group or same person um or with new people 
with that same attitude. You, you have wisdom now. You can see. Okay. Keep the faith that everything is going to work out in your favor. You need to stay prayerful. Okay. Pray, 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 pray each and every day. Uh, what, MC Hammer said that. Um, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Anyhow, uh, let's leave you with a card. Um, let's see. Trust. Trust that the universe has your back. Trust that everything is working out in divine order in your favor. You'll get what you want. Trust the universe. Trust nothing else. If you trust nothing else, trust the universe, okay? And if you believe your dreams can tr come true, your manifestations can come to life, but it is about releasing, relinquishing, moving away from, uh, forgiving. Uh, don't have a cold, callous, unforgiving heart. We manifest from our heart space, okay? All right? So make sure that your heart is light as a feather so that you can manifest whatever you need to manifest. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. 11-11 showing up. All right, so um, you could be seeing that. If you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website, book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. If you've taken something from all this goodness that God has given you, go ahead, buy your girl a coffee. Yeah, the link is below. It says buy Ella Coffee. Thank you for doing so. I want to shout out Chicago, New York, LA, Dallas, Philadelphia, Florida, and London, Houston, Australia. Uh, thank you. I have high viewership here in those places. So I want to say thank you and continue. Please like, 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 click the like button before you leave. I know it's a... Um, I do the same thing. I'll listen to something and it was real good. And then I forget to click the like button. I've been making a habit of going backwards and clicking that like button because it helps circulate the message and somebody else just like you can hear it. And, and guess what? You are a part of that person hearing that message. Boom. This one's talking about good karma happening for you. So click that like button. Um, and if you are a business minded individual, you want to be a part of a group of people who are just the same, join the KTMG monthly conference call where you get on a call and you learn valuable practical spiritual uh, method advice of how to either start maintain or grow your business this is where you want to be invest in yourself it's 20 bucks a month you spend 20 bucks you blink your eye and you spend 20 bucks come on invest in yourself all right it's time to put all of that back into you all right and get around like-minded individuals and see what happens, all right? Um, and if you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, if you want, if you feel like you wanna get on a discovery call with me to see if I can help you get to where you need to be, go ahead and schedule your complimentary discovery call. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, all links are below. Go to the website, book your reading there. For, readings are 40% off. Use code 40OFF at checkout. Thank you, many blessings to you, take care.